Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So just over a week ago, I put together a video showing you guys the top three best ways to make money in GTA 5 online. And going off the feedback, it seems like a ton of you guys really seem to enjoy that video as there was at least one method in that video that all of you guys can grind out straight away and stack millions. However, some of the methods in that video have now changed or they've been updated. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together somewhat of an updated version to that video, seeing as so many of you guys really seem to enjoy it. And this week, instead of showing you guys three methods i'm going to cover four epic money making methods in this video so as always if you guys do enjoy this video and you do want to see me cover more epic money and rp methods in the future all i ask is you show support by dropping a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so the first method i'm going to be showcasing in this video is how to complete this week's brand new time trial it only takes one minute to complete and will earn you guys a very nice fifty thousand dollars so you really have no reason to complain i guarantee all of you guys will come on straight away and smash this time trial at the park now i would suggest you guys go ahead and use a motorbike for this time trial there's tons of super fast motorbikes you guys can easily complete this one in including the sanctus the hakuchu the hakuchu drag the shatoro but in this video i'm going to keep things mutual I'm going to use the Batty 801, which only cost around $16,000. So I guarantee all of you guys can at least afford this motorbike. But like I said, if you guys own any of the new faster motorbikes, by all means, go ahead and call that one up. First thing you guys want to do, as soon as you arrive at the time trial, you want to start the time trial. As soon as you've started it, press pause and then go ahead and mark up the finish line just so you guys have a waypoint as soon as you guys do this first little obstacle. Now, once you've set the waypoint, hold down Y or triangle to respawn just so you can restart the race. As soon as you've done that, you want to have your bike lined up with this little ramp, pull a wheelie and then jump straight up this ramp. Now, from here, pull a wheelie instantly to increase your speed and try and get up to max speed again. Now, on this road, there won't be that much traffic when you start this time trial, so you want to take another left onto the oncoming road now try and stay onto the inner side of the left side of this road so you can dodge those cars and now you're going to switch over to the right lane and try and pop a wheelie to increase your speed as much as you can now from here surprisingly there isn't that much traffic at all and this is very self-explanatory from here all you're doing is basically following the waypoint just try and concentrate and hold and wheelies and try and avoid oncoming traffic for this point now when you reach this point you can cross over to the right side as i do as you guys can see i messed up and whacked into a truck there losing some seconds however this time trial is so straightforward and easy as long as you guys are able to pull a few wheelies every couple seconds you should be able to smash this within time now when you approach this point you'll be going up like somewhat of a little mini hill you do want to watch out holding wheelies because as you're about to see in a second i end up getting some major air time and losing out some seconds so you could hold down a or x on the playstation you can lean forward while you go up those little mini hills just so you don't pull a wheelie and end up failing or falling off your bike now i would suggest staying on the right side so you don't have any oncoming cars and there is actually a bike lane on this road as you're about to see so it's very very easy and straightforward one of the most annoying things about time trials trust me is the oncoming traffic for some of them where you have to dodge cars and it's near enough impossible this week is so easy and straightforward whether you do it at daytime or nighttime this road here leading towards blaine county only has one car in between them at times so as you can see i'm so confident i'm crossing over into the other lane but like i said you don't even have to hold down wheelies for an extra long amount of time and you should notice the finish line here on the left as soon as you crash into it do watch out because you are going to crash into a wall and go flying like that but as you guys can see bang fifty one thousand dollars however moving straight into the second method in this video and this is hands down by far one of the best methods that all of you guys should definitely be making the most of well at least if you guys own a hanger if you guys did watch my ultimate hanger money making guide a few weeks ago then you'll know a full hanger usually sells for around eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars however rockstar games are offering double money on all hanger missions all the way up until next tuesday which means you guys will be receiving 1.7 million for a full hanger which is extremely good especially if you guys have seen my hanger money making guide i did cover a bunch of stuff in that video like what's the best product to source how you guys can save a bunch of time hours a day as well as a bunch of game changing tips like how you guys can save your product even if it gets destroyed by a random player in your game or you end up crashing your plane into a mountain you guys can never lose your product so make sure 100 percent of you guys if you're grinding hangers you're at least watching that money guide once because i guarantee there's going to be at least one tip in that video that will help all of you guys out so i will leave that video linked down low in the description and secondly before i move on to the next method it is worth mentioning that all hanger missions and sale missions must be done in a public session so what i will 
want all to do is leave a link down below to another video showing you guys how you can get an empty public session with as many friends as you like so you guys can grind out as much money as you want without having to worry about some random players coming over in jets trying to hassle you guys however as you guys can see on screen this final sale mission took us under 10 minutes to complete and bang i received over 1.7 million and the reason i did receive more than the 1.7 million i got quoted at the hangar is because i earned something called a high demand bonus by having a bunch of random players in my game when i sold the product but like i said i've already put together a video going into full detail about everything you guys need to know when you're making the sale from a final hangar so like i said i will leave a link to that video down below in the description plus it is worth mentioning before i do forget rockstar games are also offering double money and rp on all associate and mc club members wages which is a massive increase i believe the average an associate would earn in a final sale mission is usually like 25 to 30k so by them earning up to 60k per sale mission if you guys make like five sales per mission your associates will also be earning some very very good money so if any of you guys are looking to grind at the hangar method do be sure to leave a comment underneath this video and say willing to grind method 2 followed by your PSN or your gamer tag and you might be better off leaving whether or not you got a mic because I know certain players only like to play with other players who have got mics. However, moving straight into method three and this is actually a method that I showed you guys around two weeks ago. However, Rockstar Games have gone ahead and extended this promotion. If you guys aren't aware, Rockstar Games did bring out a brand new adversary mode called Motor Wars, which is a pretty fun game mode to play. However, if you guys do grind out this game mode in the right way, you'll easily be able to earn over a hundred thousand dollars as well as an insane 15,000 RP from a single game first things first you guys want to be in a free roam public session you want to press start go across the online go down to playlist and you want to create a playlist with a few of these new motorway adversary modes in them now obviously depending on how long you guys play the game the more modes you guys want to add i'll suggest adding maybe four four is a good number to play because these games do end up going very quickly however i would suggest you guys do put a minimum of two maps in this playlist so you guys can at least grind this out properly now if you guys do want to do the same maps as me i did do motorways one and two but you guys can go ahead and do any of the maps it won't make a difference whatsoever now once you guys have set up the playlist simply go ahead and save it now once you guys are in this point in the menu you just want to make sure that you guys have it on two teams it will give you the option to choose more teams like three or four however you guys definitely only want to put it on two teams because we do need a minimum of four players in the game if we split the teams up into more than two like three four what that's also going to do is actually going to split up the payments into second place third place and fourth place so overall the majority of your friends and you are going to be earning less money while grinding this method whereas if you put it on two teams at least two of you will be earning the max payout every Every time that you grind this method and then once you guys have done that you want to change the first to win to two rounds and then go ahead and start the game up okay so the first indicator that's going to indicate how much you guys receive for your final payout will be the time that you guys spend in the game so if you guys go ahead and spend under three minutes in this game the winner will only receive 10k and the losers will receive 5k if you guys spend between five to seven minutes in the game it will jump up to 16k for the winner and 18k for the losers if you guys spend between eight and ten minutes in the game it's going to jump up to 20k for the winners and 10k for the losers however if you guys are able to spend 10 to 12 minutes in the game that will jump all the way up to 26k for the winners and 13k for the losers however what you guys may notice is it only actually gives you guys a potential of 10 minutes in the game so all you guys want to do is simply mark around the central spot of this big yellow circle and dive to that location i know some of you guys are going to be thinking why not just stay in the cargo bob and let the timer run down well in actual fact this big yellow circle or the designated area that we have to go to will actually start shrinking and then you guys will just get knocked out of the round and you'll be kicked out so if you guys are doing this with friends i would suggest just dive into the floor in the central spot and then maybe tie an elastic band around your control pad just so you 
you guys don't end up getting kicked for inactivity because all you guys want to do is make sure the 10 minute mark runs down now if you guys are playing against a bunch of randoms and you do prefer to play solo what you can actually do from here is dive on top of one of the skyscrapers and then tie an elastic band around your control pad that way no other players will be able to get to you because they can't get up the skyscrapers as there's only car vehicles and weapons on the ground nothing is located on the skyscrapers but like i said only do this if you guys are playing against randoms people that you don't know and you don't want to take any risks but if you guys know the other people on the other team and you're all just looking to earn the most amount of money then you can go ahead and dive straight onto the floor so fast forward in this gameplay to save you guys time as you guys can see right here i just put an elastic band around my control pad so my character walks in a circle that way he won't be getting kicked from the game now as you guys will notice once the timer runs down it's actually going to go into overtime and it's going to give you guys a two minute overtime period so all you guys really have to do is make sure you spend one minute inside of overtime so it passes the 11 minute mark and that payout will jump up to 26k all the way from 20k for literally less than a minute's work so as you guys can see on screen once it goes into sudden death the circle will shrink dramatically almost becoming a little mini dome that's why i told you guys to head to the central point right at the start of the map so you guys can already be next to this dome once it goes into sudden death just saving you guys a bunch of time having to get in a vehicle and drive all the way over to the central point now secondly you guys will be able to earn something called a winner's round bonus and that's earned by winning the rounds back to back and if you guys remember when we first set up this game mode it was the first to win two rounds so we have a potential of playing a total of three rounds if you guys do want to play it smart what you can do is just come against some really bad noobs and just let them go ahead and win the first round or if you guys are doing it with friends just go ahead and let them win the first round and then if you guys go ahead and win the next two rounds you'll be earning the winner's round bonus in that game as well as the max payout from each individual round so by us losing the first round we're going to be receiving 13,000 plus the 26k from winning this round the second round and if we go ahead and win the third round that's another 26k taking our total to a very nice $65,000 however as you guys saw right at the start of the video and as you guys will see in just a second because we earned all the bonuses it's actually going to jump all the way up to $105,000 boys for literally doing nothing and I think we can all agree and I think we can all agree if you was receiving 65k every game compared to 105k after a few games that really does add up very very quickly and not only are we going to be earning a ton of money from that game as you guys can see right here 15,000 RP from a single game boys I know a ton of you guys have been asking me what is the best way to rank up recently this way you can't lose you're going to be ranking up and earning good money at the same time you really have no reason to complain however moving straight on to the fourth and final method in this video and this is by making the most out of the double money and double rp on all the stunt races which is currently going on it's the one style of mission that most people are confused on what is actually the best way to grind it out when you want to make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time so what i'll do in this video is quickly run through all of the essentials that you guys need to know whether you guys want to grind this out solo or with friends First, the most important part you guys want to remember is to never finish these races under four minutes that is the most important benchmark to do with these races and how the payouts work so as you guys can see on screen i managed to finish this rocket voltic race in just under four minutes and i only received a measly 5k which is not good at all however if you guys pay attention to the clock in the bottom right by me literally just sitting in this mission for an extra 18 seconds so it passes the four minute mark my money will literally double taking it well over 10k for only four minutes work which is extremely good now an important point to remember is each lap on these new stunt races is literally around three and a half minutes so a lot of the times you guys will finish these races just under the four minute mark so you actually want to pay attention to the clock in the bottom right as i think we can all agree being able to double your money by only spending an extra 10 15 seconds in a mission is insane and you guys will be able to increase that more by spending a further two minutes in a race so by finishing the race in just over six minutes your payout will increase by 10k to just under 14k so about 13 and a half k and a very nice 3600 rp however to earn the max payout from doing this solo method you guys will have to spend a further minute and a half in the race so it passes the eight minute mark and that will increase yet again to just under seventeen thousand dollars however the rp will remain the same around 3600 and that is 100 percent the new cap on all of these races i know a lot of people have been putting out false information saying 
to spend up to 16 minutes in races to earn the max payout, that is no longer the case. These people do not spend their time testing out these methods for you guys like I do. So as you guys can see on screen, 16 minutes passes in the race and I still receive the same $16,000. The only other way to increase this is with players in your mission. Eight minutes is the time cap to earn the max payout for all of these races. That is another important thing. All of these races work the same. I've also seen people putting out information saying always do this race because it pays more than the rocket voltic all of that is also bullshit the only determining factors are the players and the time spent in the mission so now you guys know that eight minutes is the time cap you guys saw that you earned about seventeen thousand dollars for spending eight minutes in the mission however if you guys can remember by spending only four minutes in the race we managed to get a very nice ten thousand dollars so if i was to do this race five times in four minutes i would get fifty thousand dollars which would only take me about 20 minutes because I'm only spending four minutes on each lap. Whereas if I was to wait the full eight minutes every time, I'd be earning around 41K. So I'm making $10,000 less every couple races if I was to do the more longer method. So you guys, like I said, can work out what suits you guys best, whether you just want to keep on repeating every four minutes to earn the higher payouts. Or like I said, sit AFK. Maybe if you guys just want to watch on my YouTube videos or go for your dinner, you'll be able to play this game based around you. Now, as I did mention, there is another multiplier or another fact that the Rockstar do take into account when calculating your payout and that is basically the amount of players that are in your race at any given time now i am aware that we all play gta 5 different we all have different amount of friends we can get online and we all even have a different skill ability when it comes to racing some of you guys might be 10 out of 10 beast but you don't have that many friends some of you guys might play with a ton of players but you're not that good at racing but i do know one thing is that we all have at least one other friend cousin or brother that we can all play gta 5 with i guarantee all of you guys at least know one other other person that you've played computer with over the years that is usually your go-to person when it comes to either grinding money or just having a bit of jokes online so taking that into account as i mentioned earlier you guys will be earning 10k by doing this solo for just four minutes but by getting one other person in your race you guys will be earning an extra four thousand dollars every single time for literally just doing nothing exactly just over four minutes but by having one other person in your race you're able to earn an extra 4k every single race and you're friend you might be thinking oh well he's only going to get 2k there's no point of him doing it no he will still be earning a very nice nine thousand eight hundred dollars so practically the same as if you was doing it solo just slightly less because you guys earned 10k he's going to be earning nine and a half but for only four minutes of racing i think we can all agree that is extremely high so i can see why a lot of people might want to do you win one race and then you let your friend win one race and then you win one race because by doing it that way you'll actually be earning like i said more than by doing it by yourself so because you're also going to be getting that player bonus and because the loser still gets 9k which is only a couple hundred dollars less for coming first solo you guys really have nothing to lose out by getting an extra friend in here and the time bonus will also include if you guys are doing it with a friend so you will be able to earn up to eighteen thousand dollars for going just over six minutes and your friend will also earn a very nice 12 and a half and of course if you guys go to the max cap time of eight minutes spent in the race one of you guys will be earning a very nice 22 and a half k while the other one is still going to be getting a very nice fifteen and a half thousand dollars so let's say you won one then your friend won one we're talking a guarantee just under 30k for completing just two races nonetheless guys that is going to do it for me guys four epic money making methods hopefully you guys do appreciate me including more than just one method this video so there's at least one method in this video for all of you guys if you guys have enjoyed this video and you do want to see me cover more epic money and rp guides in the future all i ask is you return the favor by dropping a like down below and feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.